Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. And welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we're going to be driving to the dispensary, but listening to some AC with uh, probably the biggest inside joke in extreme music history. The Morbid Florist Relapse Underground Series, 1992. I received this as a donation. Not a real big AC fan, but this is the most legit, non-offensive AC record in their discography and has a ridiculous cover of your unbelievable. It's, it's fucking ridiculous. Like, seriously, if you've never heard it, it's just like, it's up there with 311 Sucks, which is, if I had to pick, like, a favorite parody AC song, that's the one I'm going with. <laughs> just because it's so on the money, though. It's like, <laughs> like they nail that, like, whole, like, 311 vibe I hated so much like all those like surfer fucking bros that I went to like high school with they, they would wear like the hemp necklaces with like I guess I, I don't know we just used to call them anal beads although they, they probably weren't anal beads they probably were like Hare Krishna beads or some shit but I don't think they even knew what that was like they were like legit a bunch of posers you know, I'm talking like the Slipknot crowd and stuff like that went from liking 311 to like getting into bands like Korn and like Linkin Park and all that nonsense. But then the weird thing was they would like know about like AC and it would be like, like, how do you know, like, about, you know, a super offensive grindcore band that once had the mighty Scott Hall, like, as part of it? And it's just, like, like, this record, like, I think Seth sounds a lot like Mike Williams from I Hate God. And I can actually, like, make it through this entire record without, like, uh without like skipping anything this sketch oh my what an asshole fuck that was shady i can't see shit all right this person's letting me go that's cool but i, I can't see thank you just fuck it we're good there we go but like oh shit no fuck it's like just like a death metal I hate God you'll hear what I'm talking about as long as this head I meant the microphone picks it up but there's a couple oh, railroad ties I wish I was doing some yard work or something and actually needed those if you um, are building a ramp or like plan on um there's a whole entire different way to frame your ramp using uh, railroad ties, I found out. And uh, with the price of wood right now, it's supposedly cheaper than 2x4s. I don't know how true that is, but like, <laughs> that cover. <laughs> get uh, 
copyright nonsense for playing an AC cover song. But it's it's not as ridiculous as 311 sucks. Just because they really like actually like nail to me what 311 sounds like. Like when I hear that nonsense, all my brain hears is legit like <laughs> and it's terrible like that song down it's like <laughs> down, bow, mama, nama, nama, nama. i hate like anything like musically if i can go like nama nama shama wama and like make up like in a, like a fantasy language your music's probably like kind of boof but, like, I don't know, you can kind of do it with anything, but, like, there's just certain songs where it's just, like, I mean, I'm not, I'm not talking, like, like, AC, I'm just talking in general. But I just always thought it was funny, like, when I was in high school, especially. Like, when you're a teenager, like, you know... A lot of the, like, especially when I was growing up, it was a different time period. Like, some of the more offensive AC songs, like, I remember, like, they were, like, it was always, like, kind of, people understood it was, like, a joke. It never got taken to, like, be a, like, I remember when Seth, you know, went into a coma and stuff, and, like, people were, like, it's kind of, you know, hilarious because he wrote a song, ha ha ha, you're in a coma. And then he got put in a coma. Like, fuck. Or it might have been vice versa. He might have wrote that afterwards. I forget, honestly. But, like, towards the end, I mean, there's a very specific promo photo out there. If you want to see Seth at his worst and what i mean by worst is like just i mean it's gnarly that's all i have to say about it if you've seen the photo you you know what it is but speaking of ac i don't have any ac on in the car right now because it is hot as fuck but i'm trying to save some gasoline but I babysat two sick kids all day. I am exhausted, and I earned this little treat I'm going to get myself at the dispensary. They're having a nice little sale, and it all adds up perfectly like to where I can get something to eat afterwards, too. So that, that that's cool. I'm pretty happy about that, too. I was going to get like some, some wraps, but I, I, I don't want to really waste my shit but uh yeah when it comes to the more like morbid floors here's this is like real i hate god sounding Like, just, 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 like, the way he's, like, screechy and stuff. Like, it just reminds me of, like, kind of, like, dope sick error. I hate God. And I know that's later than, you know, Morbid Floors. Morbid Floors is 92. But, yeah, you know, when it comes to AC, some people hate them. Some people love them. I'm pretty indifferent i mean some of this stuff's pretty cringe honestly like it's just you know it's not my cup of tea of offensiveness it's like okay like kind of seems like you're trying kind of hard here but like you know i kind of get it but like not really you know what i mean like like i get it but like it's just kind of seems sometimes like all right like trying a little bit hard like I forget what band it was. They had a song called Life Sucks, and I'm not talking about the video game. And, you know, it's kind of a clever song title. It's kind of, I think it might have been uh, Ed Gein, actually. Like, it was just kind of clever, kind of a silly title, but, like, yeah, it's just 
you know, it was a different time in music. But that was way after 1992. It was kind of like a second coming of, like, silly song titles. Like, a lot of bands would, like, you know, like, even Coalesce, you know, uh, Counting Murders and Drinking Beers, or Counting Beers and Drinking, oh yeah, Counting Beers and Drink, <laughs> yeah, Counting, Counting Murders and Drinking Beers, the 36 thousand dollar escape i think i guess kind of goofy but still cool song title i always like that song title but like with ac it's just you know a track like they just have some tracks where it they just haven't aged well at all i'll put it that way and like I'm sure you know what songs I'm talking about. Like, Phil and Sam know it's like guest vocals on one. So, I mean, if you know AC, you know what songs I'm talking about. Because even like the titles, like, these days, it's just like, ah, man. I, I don't know. But if you're looking for some noisy, chaotic, Really pissed off, drug fueled grindcore. AC, morbid florist. And the inside joke is the morbid florist was a member of a band called Mortician, word on the street was. And before that, he worked in a flower shop. But that's all I really know about that. So. As always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Hails.